Alright guys, Jordan, JD Viper 51 here with a quick, well hopefully quick overview on Mech Warrior Online. This is what you'll see after you download it. It is free to play. You only have to spend money if you want to. For instance, this is your home screen. Right here is your Mech Warrior credits and that's what you would buy with real life money and it gives you a set amount. I think, I think like 30 bucks will get you 6.5. 5k, so 6,500 met credits for 30 bucks. And that's almost enough to buy just about anything. This is your mech lab or the mech bay where you get to pick trial mechs off the start. You start with four of them and they change every so often. Right now the Black Jack's a monster. But I've got a Jenner, which is a light mech. I've got a heavy mech the Orion Protector and the Boar's Head Assault Mech Atlas but you can pick whatever you want to. I spent money on the Boar's Head over here it tells you the general statistics, speed how much it weighs, how much firepower you've got on it, how effective your heat sinks are and how much armor you've got which right now for me isn't a whole ton but what do you do? over here you've got your armament tells you what you've got, where it's located at how many free slots you have left on the mech your heat sinks, the engine type you got, if you've got jump jets or other equipment like um, ECM which shrouds you from lock on or uh, AMS here anti-missile system keeps you, it shoots down rockets or tries to doesn't always work that way you can go in and you can select different parts of the mech you've got your weapons ammo, uh, equipment which are jump jets, heat sinks of whatever kind you've got equipped, sensor upgrades, case, case if you have uh, an, like a, a ballistic weapon and they have ammo, say I had a whole bunch of ammo in here, you would put a case in there to keep that ammo from exploding because when a part gets shot off or destroyed it has a chance of setting off the ammo which can cause a lot of damage or death. So you just put a case in there to help that out if you want to. Here's your armor allocation. You can move it around, do what you want to with it. And upgrades. Each mech can have certain upgrades, but they take up certain spots. So right now I only have endo steel structure and double heat sinks because I don't have that many slots left to throw an uh, increased amount of armor on it. And over here, you've got your ferrofibrous armor, the different structures. Right now I've got endo steel, and you've got heat sinks on there too, which I've got double heat sinks. put different engines on there heat sinks here and there you can even put some stuff I my secret is I put ammo in the legs so I would put a whole bunch of ammo in the leg of the mech because you don't see a lot of the big mechs getting legged that often there's also modules you can pick from like advanced zoom different targeting or uh, you can even use this to help capture the base which Right now, you don't like capturing the base. It doesn't give you any points. It doesn't give you any rewards. You win the match, but it doesn't do anything for you. Uh, you've got artillery accuracy. You've got sensor stuff and uh, consumables. Um, this, for instance, will be if you are running too hot, you can take that, and it'll cool your mech off a little bit so it doesn't shut down. You also have different uh, camo and paint jobs you can put on there. But uh, those cost money generally, so I don't have any of that crap unlocked. Same thing with the cockpit. These generally cost mech credits and money, but you can put different stuff either down there or hanging up, put an air freshener, yada yada yada. But once again, that costs real money, and I don't feel like doing that for something so trivial and not essential to the actual mech. It's just for looks. Here you've got mech trees, so you would go over here on the right hand side, you've got light, medium, heavy, assault. Pick whatever category yours is in. So right now I'm running with the Jenner. You pick the variant that you're running. Right now I'm the JR7F. And then however much experience points you earn in battle, you can use to unlock these uh, like little perks. Like for instance, a twist speed increases my upper torso twist amount by, or the speed at which it twists by 20%. Twist X is how far it can go by 10%. Kinetic Bursts make you accelerate faster. Hard Break makes you slow down faster. Heat Containment and Cool Run both work on 
obviously heat keeps you from heating up quite so much. Anchor turn helps you turn better, and then once you unlock all of these, you need to where's the mechanism at? You need to have three of each variant. So you'd I'd, I'd need two more Jenners maxed out on this part to unlock the next part. So I have to have three Jenners in total with this all unlocked to be able to unlock the next section. Which, I don't really like that, but what do you do? It means you gotta grind a little more. Pilot trees are where you unlock all those extra modules on your mech, but you don't earn the general experience enough, general experience fast enough to really care about that when you start, so don't worry about that. Uh, right now, my boar's head here, it'll tell you when you go to buy a mech all the different hard points on them. So this guy is mainly an energy variant. There's six energy, one ballistic, one missile. Uh, I'm kind of an old school mech warrior guy. I really like the lasers, but in this particular game, they have got the lasers so messed up. Um, it's ghost heat, they call it. If you fire a whole bunch of lasers, it builds up the heat really, really fast. But to buy your first mech, after you've gotten enough money using the trial mechs, you go here. These are the hero mechs, or the premium mechs. These all cost money. Real money. You cannot buy these mechs without real money. Then there's the lights. Everything from spider all the way up to the ravens. Mediums, there's all kinds. There's a cicada. I used to have that. I ended up selling it for that light jenner. There's a blackjack. Centurion. Hunchbacks. And trebuchets. And then lastly, Kentaros. And each has a particular amount of variants you can pick from. They have different hard points. Some are a lot of them. Uh, like the Hunchback. Let's see, not that one. The 4P here is nine energy hard points. Whereas the 4SP has got five energy hard points and two missiles. So it just depends what you want to do. If you want to be running around with missiles, then pick a missile variant if you've got one. There you go. There's a good missile variant. That boy's got two LRM-10s right there. So Plus all these medium lasers. You could do a lot. You could increase his structure to uh, endo steel and it'd free up a lot of weight. You could take that small laser off, put another large or medium laser on there. You'd have six medium lasers and two long range rockets. Long range rockets are going to be obviously good for long range. All the medium lasers can pick off guys when they get too close to you. And you got your uh, heavy mechs here the dragon, quick draws, the iconic catapults with the big rabbit ears on them, the Yagamex. Those ones are generally used with a lot of ballistic hard points on them. Cataphracts, I had that one, but I sold it. The Orions. And then the Assault Mechs have Awesomes, which are pretty awesome. Victors. These dudes have jump jets. They're huge, and they fly around, and it's just a mess. Stalkers, which you can actually load those little guys out pretty well. Lots of damage output. Highlanders. And, of course, another iconic Atlas with the skull head on him. These guys can be loaded out too. I've got one, I mean, 64 firepower. But they're big and slow, and I'll tell you what, if someone sees an Atlas coming around a corner, either they're by themselves and they're SOL, and you're going to be able to kill them, or you come around the corner and everyone notices, oh god, there's an Atlas there, I think we should all shoot it, which is my problem. I try to... <laughs> This guy's a little faster, so I try to flank with him and get in behind people and shoot him. But whenever I do that, I'm usually alone, so they turn around and just blast the crap out of me. And even though I've got maxed out armor on this guy, it just doesn't take much to, you know, three, four, five guys turn around and start picking you off. But the factions in the store isn't up yet. They were still working on all that stuff, but... Yeah, that's a quick mech overview of the uh, mech lab. You can buy more mech bays with real money, which you're going to need if you're running multiple mechs like I am. But let's uh, let's pick a little guy. And then there's two different modes, um, Assault and Conquest. Assault's what you'll see me play a lot. It's either cap the base or kill all the mechs, and Conquest is a points-driven. There's usually about five places you need to capture, and, and the more you hold, the more points you get, or you can kill all the mechs. Uh, tutorials, they'll guide you through some basic movement and weapon tutorials, and then there's testing grounds, which you can go on, they put a whole bunch of empty mechs on the map, which lets you run around and test your mech out, shoot the um, other mechs, they put all kinds, they put everything from light all the way to atlases, and that way you can shoot, use your weapons, 
get a feel for the weapons, get a feel for the distance, and also some of the weak points of the different variants of mechs. So I'll go to launch the assault and I'll show you a quick match. All right. Now that we've got it launched and it's found a game, you get to this screen and it tells you who your teammates are and all their mech variants. So right now it's me running a Jenner, another Jenner, another Jenner. <laughs> A lot of light guys, just go over here and click ready. It tells you the game mode and the rules, what you need to do. Time remaining. City, shows you a little layout. And then uh, the temperature. The temperature is the biggest part. Because if it's hot, the mechs will all run hotter and it'll be a lot harder to dissipate heat. If it's low temperature, like on a lot of the ice maps, your mechs will run a lot cooler. So you gotta take that into effect too. Since I'm a laser variant, if I was on a big hot map, I couldn't use my lasers as much Reactive as I could if I was online. on a cold map. Sensors online. Weapons online. I'm gonna try not to die too fast with this little guy. All systems Hello. Online. Hello. I'll do one thirty. Um, if there are any people interested, I will help them if they would like to join. And get to playing. Um, right now, you don't want to do what I do and what I thought would be okay. I thought this would be like other Mac Warrior games. I didn't read through the forums and check all the patch notes in advance. And I run a lot of energy variants, which are just not not good right now. Target acquired. If you're going to, what are they talking about? In freaking new target acquired. Chat. Ah, we got the small guy. Um, if you're gonna start this right now, or anytime soon, make sure you get the first mech you buy is a ballistic variant because the ballistic guys right now are the best. They deal the most point damage of any of the variants of any of the mechs. This little guy here is pretty good, but the lasers do damage over time, over about a second, instead of that pinpoint instant shot. New target acquired. Target acquired. So it's a lot. It's a lot harder to deal the damage as a laser guy, especially with the heat offset the way it is. These little lasers don't do jack. New target acquired. Alright, I gotta go. Yep, sorry, someone stepped on me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. New target acquired. New target acquired. Nothing to you, you'd be nice to me. Oh, nope. Oh, God. oh, man. Okay, I gotta get out of that freaking cluster. Dang! If a little guy gets legged, it's over. <laughs> there's, there's no coming back. Okay. Hello. 
Triangles. All right. Battlemaster up top. Going in for flanked. Two guys left. One Battlemaster and one, I think, Cicada. Capture the base. Like, fully devoted. Oh, you won. Good. I didn't die. That's even better. Fully devoted to capturing a base, but you don't really get any capture. There's no significant. It's better to do a deathmatch. You get more points. Even if you even if you die, you get more points than you would trying to go for a base cap. It's just. We didn't lose a single guy. Whew. Alright, and this is a little breakdown of what you earned. Earned 170, which was actually really good. I did a lot of damage. Seven kill assists for 1,466 experience points. But, like I said, if you guys are going to actually start this, go with something that's got ballistic hard point on it. Don't go all lasers. That's not good for a new guy to be. It's discouraging when you can't do that much damage because you don't have a ballistic weapon. Right now, ballistics are the best. But, uh, there you go. Quick overview of... Mac Warrior, it's a good game. They call it the thinking man shooter, but I don't know. It's just basically the, the guys that aren't on crack. You're not running around. Well, unless you like a little guy, in which case you do run around like you're on crack. But it's fun. It's different. It's not Call of Duty. It's not Battlefield. It's it's pretty fun.